Hi, welcome to our uh, Pharma Topics channel. Welcome to the series uh, of videos related to principles of drug discovery. Our topic of uh, discussion is role of proteomics in target discovery and target validation. So welcome to this series 8. So why uh, proteomics? Why we should study about it? DNA makes RNA and RNA makes protein. It is, the, uh, it is the characteristic feature of molecular genetics which everyone knows. The information stored in genes pass through mRNA and to the proteins. Thousands of chemical interactions and reactions are the foundation of cells of the life. Genome sequencing projects have sequenced uh, majority of human coding regions as well as many other organisms. But now it is the time to concentrate on proteins what is proteomics proteomics deals with studying the protein expression uh, activity of proteins uh, regulation of the proteins and modifications of the proteins bioinformatics is an integral part of proteomics research and is continuously growing to meet the need of high throughput methods for powerful data analysis Proteome are all the proteins that can be synthesized by the cell. The study of uh, the expression, localization, functions and interactions of uh, proteomes is called proteomics. Proteomics is the study of an organism's complete complement of proteins or a set of proteins expressed in a specific cell given under a particular set of conditions is called proteomics. In 1990, Mark William and his colleagues coined uh, the word uh, proteomics, which is the study of uh, modification and expression of proteins with their involvement in the metabolic pathways and uh, the interactions between them. The study of proteomics is essential if we are to fully exploit the knowledge acquired as a result of genome mapping the entire human genome where we actually see what proteins do rather than what proteins are being made of everybody knows these codons they code for this amino acid but wh what happens when there is a change in the amino acid that is the important thing so what proteins do is most important than what proteins are being made of so that is the importance of proteomics the applications of proteomics the main goal of uh, proteomics is to comprehensively analyze and understand the structure function and interactions of proteins in a specific biological system this involves identifying and quantifying the entire set of proteins that is the proteome expressed by an organism tissue or cell at a given time under specific conditions the study of proteomics can provide valuable insights into the molecular mechanisms underlying the various biological processes including the diseases proteomics is used to investigate uh, when and where the proteins are expressed the rates of protein production degradation and steady state abundance post translational modifications movement of protein between the subcellular compartments involvement of proteins in metabolic pathways how proteins interact with one another proteomics uh, provide uh, the biological information uh, how they interact with the particular protein of interest for example p53 how the other proteins interact with it or p53 how it interacts with other proteins whether the proteins are localized to a subcellular compartment or they move between the cells for example whether they are reside in the mitochondria or come out of the cell of the nucleus whether the particular protein is involved in the biological process suppose what are the proteins related to circadian rhythm prioritization in the protein array to take a decision whether the protein is involved in a disease in the array technology of proteins numerous proteins are um, explored but not all the proteins may be related to the disease for example an increase in the isoforms of uh, beta amyloid can play a major role in alzheimer's disease let us see the proteomics in detail so first is uh, sample preparation we have to prepare the sample 
of the proteins then fractionation can be done to segregate the proteins the next step is analyzing the proteins and different uh, segregations using chromatographic techniques then it goes lcms mass spectrometry to analyze the proteins then protein microarray can uh, explore the different set of proteins then computational biology can be used to submit these proteins which are related to the diseases which can be utilized for drug discovery then uh, structural proteomics these prote proteins are deposited in the protein data bank or uniprot or swissprot where it could be utilized for the drug discovery uh, using molecular uh, docking techniques then the binding characteristics of each protein could be studied which could be utilized uh, and the entire set which is integrated with bioinformatics is called proteomics the proteomics uh, is very useful in biomarker discovery as target discovery and its validation let us see some of the diseases and the proteins explored through proteomics one is alzheimer's disease uh, the proteomics has revealed sulfatide a beta amyloid precursor when it gets reduced the disease gets cured breast cancer her two uh, proteins which are involved in the breast cancer and receptor protein tyrosine phosphatase b is the proteins are involved in gliomas that is brain cancer troponin and natriuretic peptides are involved in ischemic heart disease anexin is a protein which is involved in uh, prostate cancer and ikk beta is involved in tumor hypoxia all these things are revealed uh, through the bioinformatic approach of proteomics so let us see this uh, in detail proteomics the biological sample has to be prepared then it has to be immobilized uh, in array technology then the pattern could be studied using uh, lcms or uh, protein micro array the different proteins could be studied uh, some may be uh, related to normal proteins the data which you get may be related to normal proteins some of the proteins you may get uh, related to the disease and uh, some of the proteins uh, may be new so they call it as a new biomarker so this is very useful in target validation and target discovery such that these new markers could be explored and uh, the drugs which could be reducing these uh, proteins could evolve as new drugs by the application of proteomics and then there is a new terminology called uh, chemical proteomics so here uh, the immobilized proteins uh, they are first immobilized by affinity chromatography then uh, the proteins are extracted uh, through the chromatography fractionated then separation of proteins which is analyzed through mass spectrometry and then identification of the proteins some may be related to normal some may be related to disease or new biomarkers could be discovered so this is the role of proteomics in target identification target discovery and its validation so this is a very short information of proteomics i hope it will be useful for you thank you for listening happy learning kindly share this to more of your friends if you like this video kindly press the like button go through all the series and score well in your exams principles of drug discovery thank you